<clears throat> Howdy folks. Today's episode is about burning your house down. Yeah, it's it's about fire. Yeah. So there's a uh, backstory I want to explain so we can do this today so you'll understand where we're at because it's kind of like old school and looking at modernization situation here or of what's happened in the industry. But uh, houses like back in the mid 20th century, a lot of houses were burning down. And what was happening was we had black and white TV with about three channels on them. And people late at night would smoke cigarettes and they would fall asleep in front of these things. And of course the cigarette would you know, hit the couch or the chair they were sitting in or maybe roll away from their hand and end up on the carpet. Next thing you know, poof, the whole house is burning down. So the industry noticed that there was a problem and that they did, they did see that, you know, it was a lot of people were losing homes and sometimes losing people to this problem. So we moved into uh, late 60s, early 70s. We, we started to get into cable and 40 channels and colored TVs, but people were still falling asleep and the cigarettes were still, you know, ending up on carpets and or couches and burning stuff down. So the uh, manufacturing side of it went into uh, chairs and carpet that was non-flammable. So now you could drop a cigarette, fall asleep, and the house wouldn't burn down. I guess that was, wow, well, that looks like that was what was going on back then. <laughs> and so, and did it work? Well, maybe it did, I don't know, because also a lot of people started quitting smoking when they realized not a good idea. But that's sort of the premise of what we're doing today here is to take a look at that and not just look back at the good old days, but also look at something modern right now and a question came up and I realized I didn't have an answer so I thought well you and me we can do a little experiment here today and we will find out the answer I don't think it's going to go the way I think it is but we'll see <laughs> I just recently did the entire house in hardwood flooring and uh, it was a lot of money and a lot of time putting it in. It's a laminate hardwood flooring, so it's like synthetic materials or whatever. There, I don't think there's any real wood in the, in the wooden, you know, hardwood flooring. But I bought a higher middle grade flooring from the big box store, as it turned out, and installed this myself and the wife. And the two of us just about, you know, we almost killed each other, but we got the flooring in. The uh, situation here is that I bought uh, Pergo, which is you know, pretty common uh, hardwood laminate type flooring. And like I said, it's characteristically is like a composite. It's not, I don't know if there's any wood in that stuff at all. Probably not. And uh, I asked one day, I thought, you know, it's uh, waterproof. The one I bought, I bought the waterproof one. It's, uh, you know, scratch resistant. Uh, it has a uh, built-in under padding, so you don't have to install under padding. You just install the, the planks as you lay them down. So I thought that would be you know, easier to deal with somewhat. And in general, that it would all sit nice in the, and uh, go in really well with the, with the flooring. Yeah, uh, got thinking about it and realized that I didn't see on the box whether it was uh, fire resistant, fire retardant, uh, non-flammable. You see, back in the 70s and 80s, uh, when you went to a furniture store because of the cigarette thing, uh, a lot of stores, salesmen would come up and say, and oh, and by the way, that chair is non-flammable. You know, like that was a you know, real, that was a deal breaker right there, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but today, it seems like we've kind of drifted away from that uh, concern of smoking inside a house and burning the place down or something. So the hardwood flooring was like, it has all these features, it's so wonderful and everything on the box, but it was like, it doesn't say anywhere whether, whether this stuff will burn. How easy will it burn or will it burn, you know? And uh, so a couple people asked me, what's the show about? And I told them and they said, well, you know, of course it's, it's hardwood flooring, it'll burn. But you see these were old school. So they sat there for a minute and they paused. And then they said, you know, looked to be funny, like, well, uh, it will burn, won't it? You know, and it was like, I assume it will, but I don't know. I, I honestly don't know if the stuff is flammable. It probably is. So I cut up a bunch of pieces, little strips, and we're gonna try the match. We're gonna try uh, a cigarette lighter, Zippo, a Zippo lighter. That's a pretty good lighter for trying to start a fire with a piece of uh, hardwood flooring. And if that don't work, I've got uh, propane torches standing by. So we will make it burn or melt or see 
you know, what's it going to do? We're going to find out. So hang in. It's just crazy. But yes, it's a hack. It's a Monday, you know, whatever. Okay, the best I could do for a controlled atmosphere here, I tried to find an ashtray and I really could not find one even at a yard sale right now. So for about 25 cents, I found this piece of glass that's uh, gonna help contain the situation. The first thing I wanna do is take this, uh, this is the backing that is actually on the uh, hardwood flooring, so, or laminate, excuse me, laminate uh, hardwood flooring from and I assume it's just going to burn, but we'll just throw the, a quick light. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that thing. Isn't that nasty? Okay, so we'll put that out. Yeah, the backing on the hardwood flooring is definitely, wow, flammable. So the first piece I'm going to try is just a little splinter piece. This is the uh, hardwood flooring here. This is a, a piece of it anyway, so I cut off. But I made some splinters. I figured that if we were going to do this, we just put a match on the end of a corner here. And just try a, try a splinter and just see if we can get it going or not. I, I You know, like I said, I, you don't know. Uh, the old industry used to do non-flammable goods. So see if I can get this going with a match. And I'm holding the match up into it, uh, trying to get the flame going here. And it seems like it's kind of resisting the idea of it's blackening up and stuff. Ow, that's uh, getting pretty hot. Mm. It's smoking a little bit, but it's not really burning. Okay, so let's go to the Zippo and see if the Zippo make any, you know, give it a little bit more heat, flame, whatever. Uh oh, I'm starting to see something here. Uh, maybe is it burning though? Yeah, it's more an angle. I'm going to say at this point, at least it's flame resistant. That's for sure. It doesn't seem to want to burn. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah. We had a flame there for a minute actually off of it. So, yeah, it is somewhat burning. It's kind of limited. It's, it is, uh, I guess we'll call it what? <laughs> flame resistant, but, but it is still burning. It's not carrying itself, however. I mean, I'm having to keep the Zippo here or it will go out by the looks of it. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yep, I don't know if you guys can, yeah, can you see that at all? There, there's a flame. Uh, yeah, it's burning on its own right now. I'm going to try a bottom piece here where I've got the fibers hanging out a little bit too. And I just wanted to, again, uh, see if that burns after the Zippo cools down. I guess at some point, you know, anything will burn if you get enough heat on it, of course. But the Zippo seems to have had the most success so far really getting this thing going. There it goes. Yep. Uh, let's just right up to the camera there and see if you guys can see it. There's a little tiny flame going and that thing is burning on its own. Yep. So it, well, it's continuing to burn a little bit, but it is sort of resistant. So there's your answer, <clears throat> sort of. It is sort of, I guess we'll say, it's kind of resistant. It's not, you know, flame, non-flammable or flame-proof or whatever, but it would take some heat and some flame to get this stuff going. The next thing, of course, once the Zippo's cooled down, we'll hit it again. Here we go. All right, the Zippo lighter has cooled down a little bit so we can continue the testing here. I really wanted to try this piece here because it looked like it would, you know, sort of like carry on its own. So again, I'm gonna put the the Zippo lighters become fire resistant. Oh, there we go. So we're going to try this again because uh, really what I want to see is if the hardwood flooring will burn and carry on the burn by its lonesome without help from a Zippo lighter or something like that. Maybe we need to get the propane torch out. <laughs> I really go to town. That is quite a bit of flame going on here and it is still, I'm going to say it's still resisting. It's, it is burning but it's not burning easily. I don't know how else to describe that condition right there, but it doesn't seem to want to carry on its own. It's almost like it would need an external flame or something else burning in order to carry burn on the hardwood flooring. Look at this. If I pull the Zippo away, it's smoking pretty good, but it's really not taking off. So it's is of course not non-flammable, I can see that, but 
it is somewhat limited that it might be a little bit fire retardant. It will burn with external sources, but it looks like it won't just simply go up like gasoline on its own. Now I've got a heavy corner piece here, so I guess ultimately that will be our final test to see if we can catch this and get it going. It's possible. I mean, it's. let's see if we can, you know, let's see if we can get that. Maybe that piece, that end will go. It looks like it's sort of resisting the idea. It will burn, but not, it won't burn on its own apparently. Not without some kind of external source. So that's kind of what I was looking for. Uh, is like, you know, not so much non-flammable, but maybe fire resistant, fire retardant, something along that line. Because I'm really not getting, um, a, per se, a burn like a piece of wood or a stick or something. Conditions would have to be exceptional. Yeah, you know, look at this. It's you know, it is just not going. It's not carrying on. It's it's it won't independently just sit there and burn like uh, yeah, like a piece of spaghetti. If you've ever seen the old pasta trick, yeah, it's just not going. Well, there you have it. Uh, it it won't burn on its own. We couldn't get a fire going with a couple pieces even. Uh, so I'll bet comments below. Did you think it would burn? Did you think it would go out or it would be fire resistant, fire retardant, or totally flammable? <laughs> yeah, was, uh, I, I thought it would just burn and that was all there was to it, but I'm a little surprised. It was, it's very hard to get this stuff going and it doesn't seem to want to keep going on its own. So I'm gonna call that uh, fire retardant, you know, yeah, so. Hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools today and coming by and visiting and seeing what's going on. Strange hack, yeah, yeah, but uh, we're out of here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Over and out.